Hello everybody, welcome to the next episode of Justin and Nathan Attempt to Survive the Dunwich Legacy by getting clues and punching a bunching. We are on um, the uh, extracurricular activity. Quiet Halls, you arrived at the Miskatonic University campus in search of Professor Warren Rice. Classes are over and a mysterious silence hangs in the air over the quad. We have seven turns. Uh, Professor Rice was last seen several hours ago by one of Armitage's students in the Humanities Building. We need nine clues to pass. The location we're on is resign as an action. We can't find Rice anywhere. You leave the campus hoping Armitage will forgive you. Um, Nathan, why don't you go first? All right. Because I don't have much to do until enemies show up. I mean, I'm obviously going to the humanities building. Holy shit. <laughs> and in the turn, if you're in the humanity building, discard the top X cards of your deck, where X is the amount of horror on you. Okay. Um... Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, would you like to investigate with your ability? I would love Oh, here, to. let me get you this card as well. You'll nope. want this. This is the scenario card. Oh, so this cool. one Thank does you. have a negative. Uh, the skull, minus one. If you fail, discard the top three cards of your deck. All right. The cultist gets harder the more cards in your discard pile. Three. So you're four to three. Let's... Uh... Let's bring oh, this baby, a deduction. Five to three. <coughs> Good luck. He's me. Oh, baby, Nathan gets two clues two from his clues, location. Two clues, baby. Oh, baby. Uh, that's nice. two turns. Yeah, two actions. You have one left. Actually, no, that was one action because you just moved. You have two actions one left. One and move, yeah, that's right. Um, I'm going to spend uh, uh, two assets to bring field work out. Nice. Um, and then I'm going to spend my last three resources to bring Ellie out. All right. Search the top nine. Oof. We get the two flavors of Ursula Downs in these, in these two scenarios. First one was Dr. Milan. This one is Dr. Ellie. Cool. Hopefully gonna... he didn't win. Nice. Do I just put it on her or do I put it out? Uh, it you can put count, it in your right? body slot. All right, cool, cool, cool. So it's connected to her. So if she leaves play, it does too. Makes sense. Bryn always calls this like the oh. best friend bracelet because it's not like it's an it's something you want to stay and play with Dr. Ellie. Yeah. Otherwise, she's like Dr. Ellie. You can just go, especially if it's like a one use relic. <laughs> yeah, you can you can leave, ma'am. All right, that's, uh, that's you. One two. Yep. All right, I'm going to draw a card. I'll play Dr. Milan Christopher for action two. And then action three, we're going to move in here to protect my boy. Aw. All right, cards and resources. And Doom ticks up. Nathan, you have the first evil card of the game. Let's see what you got. All right. Beyond the Veil. Surge. Uh, Revelation, put Beyond the Veil into play in your threat area if there is no copy of Beyond the Veil in area. Forced, if your deck has no cards in it, take... Yeah, I have cards. Oh, no, but when... So this will stay in play. Oh, is it just permanent? I yeah, so say. then when you run out of cards, you take 10 damage. Fun. Ooh, Ancient, ancient evils. evils! Revelation, place one Doom on the current agenda. This effect can cause the current agenda to advance. Cool. Oh, yeah. Just kidding. Discard. I would like that to be in your discard pile. I also have a Beyond the Veil. Ooh. The Alight of Forgamon. I must attach it to the current. Uh, all damage is direct damage and horror. Honestly, we're going to put that on the agenda. All right, it's our turns. One second. All right. Two clues left over here. Uh, uh, 
let's uh, let's investigate. I guess. It's that's that's my shtick. Actually, you know what? Let me go first, Nathan. You go first. Um, I'm gonna play safeguard. Okay. So this is after another investigator moves from your location to a connecting location, I can exhaust it to move to that location. Oh, cool. Um, I'm then gonna gain a resource and a card. Oh, thank you, game. All right, you can go now. Just in case you move out of here, I can follow you now. That's cool. All right, go for it. Do your thing. All right. Uh, Eureka, hopefully. Cool. So you're five, two, three. Yep, yep, yep. Nice job. Yeah. And three cards, right? Yep, three. three. Cards. Oh, 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 dang. Um... That's okay. We just know these two. No, 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 I did that on purpose. Oh, okay. Though, dang, was I like all three of these cards? Oh, dang. <laughs> I would like to keep all three of them. Sorry, that's an illegal move, and I'll have to sue you if you take it. Ah, good, yes. Uh, I think I will... Oh, there we go. Nice. Now uh, it's still your first action, right? Yes. Nice. Well, thank you. Uh, um... There's still one there. Um, okay. I'm gonna play this to gain two resources and roll at five to one. Five to three. Five to three. Good luck. You fail, but you still get your two resources. Rough. You can't. They don't take. They can't take that away from you. Yeah. And I discard. No, it's if only if it's a skull. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we? Can thank you. And okay. you have one action left. Dang. Uh, screw it. Dang. All right, well. That's okay. That's okay. Cards and resources? Okay, thank you. Cool. We are at three doom in play. Nathan, draw your evil card. Boop. A locked door. Locked oh, door. Oh, baby, that's why I'm here. Oh? Oh, yeah, you'll see when you read through the card. Ah, uh, you gotta bust it. Gotta break down that door. So that goes to the location with the most clues, which is ours. There is also convenient, un uh, not conveniently, this arcane barrier here as well. <laughs> not ideal. That door is well protected. Uh, but we can try to crack that open. All right, I'm gonna punch through that door. What's the test? Fist four. I have six, so six to four. See you later, door. Punch right through it. Um, I am then going to attempt to leave this location. So brain four, I have five, five to four. That's not great. But I mean, if we can just like get out of here, that's fine. Actually, you know what? I'm going to stay here. I'm just going to play my boxing gloves. Because if you move out of here, I can help you with that card. You get plus one with the Tooth of Etsley. And then after you move, I can just move to that location without actually committing a move action to leave here. Okay. I think, anyway. It, you know what? We'll just assume you're going to break through. So... Uh, I have two actions left. The problem is I'm not doing anything. <laughs> All right. Um, but like when an enemy shows up, I'm golden. We'll draw a card. And then I will unfortunately just gain a resource. Nathan, you're up. All right. What am I going to do? Uh, if you do try to investigate this location, I can help you with a book symbol. You shouldn't be here. Toss him out just so I can use his book. Nice. His book smarts uh, to investigate. We're good. Yeah, I did it. So we have four of nine. And then in order to leave, I need to four. 
Cool, so you have four with your Tooth of Etzli. I'm gonna commit this Guts to give you an additional plus two. Oh, okay. I was also gonna commit a Guts, but... Yeah. Yeah. Nah. We're good. Yeah. Cool, so I draw a card. Broke down that seal, that's two turns. No, Nathan, you draw a card, I think. I don't, why am I having a brain fart about Guts? Who draws a card? If this test is successful, draw one card. I think I draw it. That makes sense. Um, and then I'm going to head to the library. All right, I'm going to use my safeguard to follow you. Sounds good. Oh. oh. <laughs> Must spend one additional action to investigate Orn Library. All right. Not terrible. Um, you have investigated and moved, so you now only have one action left. So you actually I... could... I, oh, I investigate, oh, right, yeah, 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 okay, sorry, what were you going to say? So you actually could use this to take an investigate yeah. action and then spend the one additional action to do it as well. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. I'm going to, if you do, I have a book symbol for you, so you're a bit oh. higher. Oh, thank you. Minus no. one, you're good. Oh. oh, if you fail. Yeah, you're golden. Nice. That's Get one. that clue. And then, oh. that's, no, that was my move there, investigation, so I'm going to investigate again. Oh, no, 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 because it costs an additional action nope. to investigate right. here. Yeah. Right, because yeah. we need to look through books, and that takes time. It takes time. Uh, um, then I can just gain a resource, eh? Yeah, no, because, no, you spend your actions, your last action with this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, but we do now gain a card and a resource here. And I have to burn a bunch of cards. You can go. You can go. You can go. Do we keep the counterpunch? We keep the counterpunch, we get rid of that. There we go. All right, uh, did you draw, gain your card and your resource? I did not. For upkeep. It being in windowed mode is really messing me up here. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> I hit like three buttons at the same time and suddenly I was in. It's a nightmare. Yeah. Um, all right, uh, cards and resource. Uh, sorry, uh, Mythos phase, evil card starting with you. Let's see an enemy. Ba -ba -ba. Wrong button. Fuck. Ancient evils again. <laughs> Hey, it's a Whippoorwill. This guy has a Loof and Hunter. So at our location, our stats are reduced by one each. That's unfortunate. But I'm going to kill him. Uh, action one, engage board. Action two, punch board. I have five, sorry, five, six, seven. So I have six versus his two. <laughs> oh, baby. I'm going to discard this card anyway. An event card, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to discard it so it doesn't really matter. Unless. No, Bird is dead. See you later. No. Bored. Poor Bird. Um. I should have done this, but what can you do? I'll just gain a resource. Nathan, you're good to go. Sounds great. Uh, there's one clue left. If you investigate, I have two books for you. Oh, I would love your two books. See, that's I why I'm in the chat. I'm a genius. So that was two actions to do that, but we are free of the cool. library. Um... Hmm. I think I'm just going to play it safe and gain an extra resource. Cool. All right. Cards and resources. Yeah. I'm quite happy with... All right. We're at six of seven. What's your evil card, Nathan? My evil card is... Please flip. A board! The Whippoorwill. And I have... A Yithian Observer, you say? <laughs> so that goes here again? Yeah, he just goes in our location. 
Bump. Hello. Man, look at all your just awful threats. Um, I'm going to punch this Yithian Observer twice in the face. Do it. So for the Mess first attack, I get... Oh, but there's a Whippoorwill here. Actually, Nathan, can you go first and can you leave this location? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Bye. I'm going to follow you. <gasps> but now this dumb bird isn't here. The board. Uh, I can't follow you, you again. All right, all right. Well, then let's go to... I'm going to go to the Student Union building. Two clues. Because it's kind of... After I was putting the set aside then... dormitories into play. Ooh. Two turns, heal one damage, and one horror. Like uh, you also get your free investigate after you move to a location yes, if you that, want. The, that's the yes. That's the yes. Um, sorry, what's the shroud there? One. One. Ten or more cards in your discard pile. Four. So I'm good. Nice. Gain the clue. Um, and then I'm going to... One, one, two, three. To bring out this. Nice. What would you like to seal? Um, what should I seal? There's two skulls and one cultist. Where are those again? Uh, you can see on your scenario reference card what they do. Oh, okay. That's how that works. Um, which one? I should probably seal the skull. Sure. Yeah. I'll uh, just put it on the card. Oh, right. okay. Bonk. Cool. Makes sense. So uh, that, that is that. That's one, one two, two yeah. three. Cool, cool, cool. All right, Yithian Observer. Now it's time to fight. I'm going to punch you in the face. So plus one for this attack. We have. Five, six, seven, eight versus four. Oh my god. Um, dude, this is incredible. I think I'll grab this get over here. Get over here! Uh, so we'll deal two damage to this guy. I will then get in and make a extra attack where I deal I get plus two and deal plus two one damage, so we have. Five, six, seven, eight, nine versus his four. Minus two, he's dead. And put him in the victory display. Uh, for my last two actions, we're going to get rid of this drawing the sign. All right, Nathan, cards and resources. Oh, sorry, I'm going to also use my boxing gloves now because I can. And I'm going to draw a card after with Dr. Francis Morgan. We'll draw the card first and then look at the top six. Oh, baby. You give me something to punch, and I punch a bunch. <laughs> I'm just going to grab my thing. Spirit. I only have one spirit. That's okay. Ooh, cool. All right, now it's card and resource time, You, which you already did. Which I already did. Cool. All right, Doom is at seven. We advance the Doom. Okay. Oopsie. All right, Nathan, the university is dead silent. The shadows coil about your feet as you walk, and you swear there is something following you with each step you take. Is it just your imagination, or is there really someone or something stalking you? Each investigator with five or more cards in their discard pile. I have six. I think I still only have four. I take one horror. Yep. E gads. Uh, if the players have completed the house always wins, we advance to agenda 2B. All right. Uh, a cry of fear echoes through the campus, and several students flee from the eastern side of the university where the science building can be found. Could this commotion be linked to Professor Rice's disappearance? If the dormitory is not in play, uh, put it into play. If the experiment is in play, move it one location towards the, ex the dormitories. If the experiment is not in play, we spawn it in the science building. Hello, I am the experiment. Oh, sorry for moving them. Oh, 
Okay, so some kind of wild creature is on the loose. Whatever it is, it appears to be headed towards the university dormitories. When this agenda would advance by reaching its doom threshold of two, we remove all doom in play and move the experiment one location towards the dormitories. If, the dor if this guy enters the dormitories, we advance. He's a big guy, huh? He's, he's kind of gross. And we haven't even completed the... How many clues do you have? Uh, I have seven. Oh, we have enough to advance this. Should we do that as well here? I thought we needed nine. Yeah. I said nine, but that's because I'm used to timesing this by three. It should be two. Cool. Spend six clues. Done. Uh, actually, we'll draw our evil cards first. So what's your evil card? All right. Beyond the Veil. Oh, you can't have two. Which I can't have again. But it does have Surge, so you'll draw another. Uh, offer of power, peril, revelation. You must either choose... You must either draw two cards and place two doom on the current agenda or take two horror. What's our doom at? Uh, zero of two, so it will cause it to advance. Cool, I'm just gonna take two horror. Yeah, you're pretty comfortable. I can't Wrong help you way. with that one. That's what peril means. Choose one of the following card types. Uh, Nathan, I'm sorry if this fucks you up, but this is a peril <laughs> I can't ask your opinion. Um, but we are going to need to get rid of... Actually... Um, you... I'm going to say assets. We have to discard all the assets in our hand. Okay. Both of us? Yes, yeah. That's an event. All right. Do, 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 do. Flip those. I'm doing this really efficiently. Okay. okay, that was pretty soft. So how long can I fight this guy for? <laughs> That's the question. Honestly, okay, let's advance this now, Nathan. Okay. Um, you were unable to find Professor Rice, but one of the students you spoke with mentioned a strange man entering Rice's office. Unfortunately, the door leading to the faculty office is locked this late hour. The student says that the head janitor, Jazz, might be able to let you in if you can find him. We shuffle the, uh, these together and shuffle the set-aside Jazz Mulligan into the deck as well. Okay, so... Uh, as an action, we can spend one clue to discard the top five cards of the encounter deck. If you discover Jazz Mulligan for any reason, resolve his revelation effect. If you discard him for any reason, and we advance when we take control of him. These birds are here. Hello, board. Board. I want my board. <laughs> Where is my part? Okay, so, uh, Nathan. Yes. You can enter the dormitories right now, even though there's clues here. It's because I accidentally flipped it, so just ignore but, those clues. Well, I want to go. Um, but as an action, you can spend a clue to look for Jazz Mulligan in the encounter deck, too, just to be aware of. Um, I am going to... Is that the only thing we need clues for right now? Yes. Oh, then I mean I might as well. Cool. Uh, I'll go first, though. I'm going to engage these yeah. birds, and I'm going to punch the board. Uh, minus one. Yes, he is dead. See you later, board. I'll look at the top six. For a spirit card. Uh, I guess it's you. But I could actually probably use that to help. The shroud on this location is one, right? Uh, yes, no, three. No, sorry, on your location. Yes, there's one. I'm going to move into your location, and then I'm going to investigate. Because if I, I just, I think because we, I need to do something. <laughs> uh, I'm going to investigate four to one with this uh, glory. I will grab this clue. So now, because you investigate in a one trad location is like a gimme. Yeah. Um, so Nathan, I am done. You may go. All right. Now can I go to the dorms? No, it's still locked. Oh, how do you unlock it? We don't know yet. 
Oh, okay, cool. Um, but there is the admin building over here as well. Yeah, that's where I'm going to want to. I'm going to move one space with you. Cool, I'm going to investigate. Is that, did that say four? That said four. And we put the faculty office into play. I'll, I'll get I'll get some. Oh wait, that's that's head, not book. Wrong guts. Uh, okay. Well, let's see what happens. You're four all. Yep. I believe. Oh yeah, you also could use your field work. Yeah. To be six to four. You're good. Nailed it. Uh, would you like to spend your last action to try to discover Jasmolian? Yes, I would. Cool. Spend a clue? Clue spent. And one, two, three. Jazz Mulligan! I nailed it. That was very lucky. So, um, put him into play at your location. While he's not oh. controlled by investigator, oh. he gains action parlay. Sorry. Book, no, it's okay. Part book three. If, you, uh, if you're successful, take control of him. When you can take control of him, you ignore the text on unrevealed locations. Like... The dormitories. Dude, that was very lucky. Yeah, no kidding. All right, so we have to still take control of him to advance. Um, enemy phase, cards and resources. Please give me something good. Yeah, yeah, that's something good. Okay. Uh, evil card starting with you. Just one moment, please. <sighs> the light, the light of, of, the of Afor Girl Mom. Cool. Peril. Uh, you must attach the light to either the current agenda or current act. Uh, treat all damage as direct damage and all horror as direct horror. So that means you no. can't put it on allies or assets. It no. has to go on your Not investigator. Too bad. Uh, what sh does it matter what I? Attach I can't it to? help you. It's a peril. Does it matter which one I attach it to, though? Really? Uh, no, because they're both gonna go pretty quick, right? So. All right. Uh, I have to make a brain five test, so we're three to five. I failed by four, so I discard the top four cards in my deck. Brother, no! Okay. It is our turns. Hmm. Okay. All right, I'm gonna parlay with Jazz. Nice. So you are, um, four to three? Three. Uh, no, it's five. a it's a book test. Oh, it's a book. Yeah. Uh, pow. Five to three. Bunk. You're good. Minus one. Only minus one. All right, you gain control of him. He is not an ally, so he will not get rid of Doctor Ellie. Cool. All right, we advance. Uh, you convince Jazz that something strange is going on, and that Professor Rice may be in danger. He doesn't trust you enough to hand you his keys, but he agrees to come with you. All of a sudden, you hear a crash coming from the science building, and a student rushes towards you. Help, he cries. There's some kind of animal loose. Uh, if you've completed the house always wins, put the set-aside alchemical concoction into play underneath the alchemy labs. Okay. So we get the alchemical alchemy labs with the alchemical concoction. Cool. All right. So that lets us, that lets you attack with book instead of fist, and this attack deals plus six damage to you against the experiment. Hmm. So now, Nathan, we have to. Our thing is, you have only moments to react. You could warn the students in the dormitories and escort them to safety, or continue your task of searching the faculty offices for Professor Rice, or perhaps you could try to slay the beast that threatens the campus. Find an uh, find and complete an objective on another card. So we have. Three routes to go. Uh, we can either kill this thing, 
uh, warn the students in the dormitories or look for Professor Warren Rice in the faculty offices. And I believe you still have two actions left. Yes. I really want that alchemical concoction. Uh, so, does that mean we're going to try to defeat the experiment? I mean... Hmm. It only has two health, right? No, he has no, that's 16 health. 13 health. Where is that? So, his attack is the four. His yeah. evade is the two. And the middle yeah. one is, is his health value. He's massive, which means he engages with everybody in the room. And his, the experiment gets plus three investigator health, so he has 13. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. I do feel capable of dealing damage to this guy. The question is how much, uh, uh, how much I can deal before he, um, kills me. Yeah. See, like, I, I want the concoction just for, like, scenarios where it's, like, I could be actually helpful oh, to kill big oh, things. Oh, no, no, you me. only get it for this scenario. Just kidding. Never mind. I'm going to go try and find the professor. Sure. Fuck the students. Uh, there's no sign of Professor Rice in his office. You call his names and it echoes fruitlessly through the hall. Cool. I'm glad I did that. Um, so he's not here. He is not here. What do you think we should do? I don't know. Killing the beast is very hard. But, like, it feels nice when you do it. Um, warning the students is very easy. But we get less victory. So what we could do is I could fight the monster. And you could go for the concoction. Because he only has two foot. You could evade him pretty easily. Yeah. And we could just, That's like, try to kill him with the concoction as well. Like, punch him together? All right, yeah. so I'll move my one more up. Cool. The only problem is we can't evade his, his attacks completely. Oh. We'll be fine. We gotta take the risk, right? Excuse me, exactly. This does nothing. <laughs> this card in my hand. Okay. We have a plan. Like, luckily I attack him at pretty good. Like, I attack at seven to his four. So, like, that's a comfortable number to be at. And that's without committing any of other cards. The problem is I need events to do things. And if I'm not killing smaller monsters, I'm not really actually, like, refreshing my hand. So, I think the best course of action is for me to just draw cards. But I already have seven cards in hand. <laughs> but I mean, I can just discard the Junkers. So we're going to look for the good cards. That is not one of the aforementioned good cards. Action two, we're going to draw a card. That is honestly one of the worst cards I could have drawn. <laughs> it's Tommy Malloy! Get this effer out of here! All right, I'm going to punch Tommy Malloy for my last action. Uh, it was minus three, but he'll take uh, damage. Tommy Malloy, you son of a gun. Okay. Um, I am not worried, but I'm worried, but I'm not worried. You'll see, we'll figure this out. Um, enemy phase. This Tommy Malloy is going to bonk me for two. Um, I think... I'm going to counterpunch him here just so I can kill him first. No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. We're going to save that for the big boy. All right. Uh, Fair. Ca uh, cards and resources, Nathan. Okay. Ooh, I'm also running out of cards in my deck, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. I would like to get that sooner. Um, bong. So, this guy advances. Hello, I'm the big scary monster. Uh, evil card starting with you, Nathan. Dun, dun, dun. Terror from beyond. 
Choose one of the following card types. Uh, each player must discard each of the card types. Um, event. Uh oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, is that your counter? That's my everything. That's your. Oh. Yeah. Uh, does it have to be something I have in my hand? Nope. Oh, okay. Uh, relic. Oh, no, that would be asset then. Just kidding. Uh, skill? Sure, I can do skill. Skill. Yeah, I'm fine with getting rid of this. So for reference, uh, I would have discarded seven cards for my hand. Oh, oh boy. And I got Ancient Evils. That's not good. That increases our timer quite a bit. Uh, decreases our timer quite a bit. But we're here, and that's okay. Okay. So, I need to kill Tommy Malloy, so I'm going to just punch him normally. Okay. Uh, he'll take a damage. Let's punch him again, because I have seven to his two, so minus five. He is dead. Get out of here, Tommy. Good. The next Good. thing I'm going to do is we are going to punch the monster. So I am at seven to four. We're gonna go eight to four just to beat that minus four chip. That's the blessing, that's incredible. Holy hell, if this is an attack, I can return an event from my discard pile to my hand. I'm gonna return my one, two punch. Nice. Uh, so this guy's gonna take three damage. So let's get the counter going. So how much health did I say he had, 13? 13. Cool, so he is at 10 damage remaining. 10 health remaining. Uh, the only problem is he's gonna, so he is massive, so you will engage with him when you enter the room. So you could move out, but he will punch you for two horror and two brain when he does. That's okay. So it is your turn to go. All right, so I'm gonna do the thing. Yep. And then take the damage right away? Uh, when you would move out of the room. So when you Okay, and do... then I'm going to evade. Cool. Okay. So you are four to his two. Yeah, just just to be safe. Five to two? Nice. Just to be safe. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, oh my god, that, you just gained a free, you just gained your action. That evade was free, Nathan. So oh. when you do this, you get to resolve the star effect on your character as well. Ah, excellent. Which is plus one. After this test ends, you may move to a connecting location. So this move would be free then, that you just took. Exciting. Field. Put aside the alchemy labs into play. When you fail a head test in the science building, take a damage. Uh, so that was one. That was free. Investigate. If you're successful, instead of discovering clues, take the alchemical caution from under this location. So, Nathan, you haven't used your ability yet? I have not. So you can take this investigate action if you want. That's a big... Oh. Do you have anything that can help me? You're not with me. No. Uh, oh, boy. Okay. So right, right now, well, do you need gonna... the plus one? Uh, I, yeah, I'm, it's five to four. Yeah, because you have four. Yeah. I mean, you could try four. Worst case scenario, you discard three cards from your deck, but you have 20, like you're doing pretty good. Oh, I should have, actually, you know, I'm also using my boxing gloves from when if I If I have a time. card in play, does it count? Like, if I bring this guy out, does that add the one? No, you would need Even to commit it. I just need to commit it. I wouldn't spend it. Correct. Oh, okay, cool. No, we know if you commit it, it gets discarded. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do it. Cool. Oh, what? He did it! What? <laughs> would you like to move back as well because of your ability after you gain the concoction? Yeah, I would love to. That was great. Oh my god. Honestly, as well, now that as well, I also should have. I'm also going to say I safeguard it with you because, like, that would have been the right choice because then this monster doesn't bean me. Oh, I also took damage. No, because you okay. evaded him. Oh, because I success. Oh, okay, I thought that. Okay. Yeah, so evading them makes them exhaust, which means they do not make attacks of opportunity if you're in their space and you do something that provokes oh, cool. it. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. Um, enemy phase, this guy stands up and attacks his location. And then we get our cards and resources. Dude, that was a very lucky turn on your end. Holy shit. You know what? I'm going to just say, I actually am not going to move with you. I'm just going to get beamed. Because then I can play this counter punch and attack him back. We're at seven to his four. I will go eight to four, just to be sure. Three to minus three, so he'll take two more damage. He has eight health remaining. Ah, dang, why couldn't he still be somewhere where there's clues? <laughs> no doubt, eh? Um, okay, uh, and then I get beamed like crazy. Uh, cards and resources, which we've done. And then Doom, this guy is going to advance into here. No, go somewhere where there's still clues. <laughs> oh, he will, but then we lose the game. Ah, yes, All right, well, so Nathan, I mean, yeah. if we draw two Ancient Evils, we will lose here. But let's just hope that doesn't happen. What's That's your evil card? exciting. Push to the beyond. Choose and shuffle a non-story asset you control into your deck and discard the top three cards of your deck. If a copy of that asset is discarded, take two horror. So it could be any of these four. I'll just get rid of the stone. May I recommend, may I recommend the field work instead because it's probably never going to activate again? Yeah, it's not useful for the rest of the this round, is it? Okay, it's so not, yeah, because this exactly bastard doesn't it? care about clues. Put it into my deck. And then if you three discard cards. three, and you take two horror if you discard it. Oops. Did you discard it? I have it again. No, no, no. So you discard the top three cards of your deck? Yes. If you discarded the field work? That'd be these. Oh, the field work, right. Yeah. And your deck, not your hand. Was that from your deck? Yeah, those are okay. from my deck. Yeah, so because you didn't, uh, you didn't discard the field work, you don't take the horror. Okay, we good. And they go in your discard pile. Yep, I knew that. All right, my evil card is... Visions of Future Past. Test brain three. All right, we'll go five all. We're good. And I'll draw a card. Dude, sweet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move in here. And we're going to one, two, punch this guy. Yep. So we have eight to his four. That's good. I will deal two damage to him. He is down to six health. I will punch again. And I'm at plus two. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. He will take two more damage. He is down to four. Um, for my last action, I'm just going to punch him normally. He'll take one damage. Nathan. I rush in. I splash him with the gross stuff. So this fight uses book. Book instead of punch. Cool. I can give you a book symbol. I can also give myself a book symbol. So you have six versus his four? Yep. Good luck. Oh, baby. He takes, he six, takes six extra he takes damage. seven damage. He is yep. defeated. We did it. We advanced to 3B. Oh, advanced to uh, advanced act three B. Okay, uh, the monstrous creature lets out a terrible shriek as it succumbs to its wounds and collapses onto the ground. A foul odor emanates from the corpse as its flesh begins to bubble and froth. Your relief turns to disgust as the body begins to shrink and disintegrate. Minutes later, the body is almost completely evaporated into a sticky mask, and the awful odor has vanished. Inside the remnants of the creature's body, all you can find is a set of bones, the, ste the skeletal structure of a canine. Uh, resolution 3. Oh. After defeating the strange and terrifying creature from the Department of Alchemy, you rush to the faculty offices to find Professor Rice. Uh, I go there. You've already there. You're like, Nathaniel, it's a waste of time. And you're like, don't, I'm like, don't tell me that. By the time we get there, however, there is no sign of him anywhere. 
In your campaign log, record that Professor Warren Rice was kidnapped. <gasps> Surprise! Whichever one we went to second was going to get kidnapped. <laughs> uh, in your campaign log, we record that the experiment was defeated, but um, no, we don't record that we saved the students, which I hate. Which is weird because we did, in fact, I know, save I the think that, that should be fixed, but it doesn't. Uh -huh. Write it anyway. Each investigator, Eric, uh, we earn victory X. So we have, I think we have a good chunk here. And by good chunk, I mean the best we could have done, I think. Yeah. So, at least with what we were given. So we have one, two, three, four. So I did not get rid of this, but we each have four experience to spend. Uh, we advance to uh, Armitage's Fate, interlude one. Uh, we will, um, the investigators were found unconscious. So we get Armitage's Fate two. When you arrive at Dr. Armitage's home in the south side, you find him sitting at his desk, pale faced and sweating with worry. He is grateful to you for searching for his colleagues, but he doesn't look relieved. With a long pause, he straightens his glasses and explains. I'm afraid I must apologize. There's something I didn't mention to you earlier. Dr. Armitage then spins a tale you would scarcely believe had it not been for the harrowing experiences earlier that night. In your campaign log, we record that we rescued Professor Armitage. One of us may include him in, his, in our deck, uh, and this card does not count towards that investigator's deck size. It can be found in this set, which I will pull him out, and we will decide what we will do off camera. But this story continues in we the did, Miskatonic uh... Museum, uh... which I am going to be absolutely useless in. Yeah. <laughs> because there may or may not only be one monster in that entire scenario. Goodbye, YouTube.